it never fails. So I've been recording and planting and what happens? The camera doesn't work for five minutes of me doing everything. So let me at least show you what I did do. So let me flip the camera around and show you. So let's see. Well, you can kind of see. I decided I want mint tea this winter. So this is just the beginning. I'm going to go back and get more, but I have got various kinds of mint planted. At the very end down there, I got a stevia plant. And then I've got, um, that is a banana mint. This right here is mint mojito. This is a mint berries and cream, pineapple mint, strawberry mint, spearmint, and then an apple mint. Okay, and let's flip my back around. I have also got up on the deck um, a couple other kinds of mint, so I just have it for quick mints for teas and whatnot, you know, iced tea and whatnot. But for down here, this is going to be my winter mint, what I'm going to grab every week or so and start drying, let it dry through the week as I'm, you know, whatever. I'm going to cut it every week, let it dry, then, you know, go through and whatever. So, just so I can start storing it up and whatnot for the winter. And so I'm gonna go and get some more mints. Basically, this is my mint bed. So, down in here, let me turn the camera around and down a little bit. Hold on a second. Let's uh, tilt this around. Down in here, this is uh, going to be kind of my culinary garden um, for herbs. I've got a mint in there. I might transfer those mints. That's just the stuff that's coming up from last year. I've got uh, basil. I've got some chives. I've got a spearmint, a mint. I've got uh, some oregano, a couple other things. So I will be transferring the mints that did survive through the winter over into the mint garden. And then over here... I've got the garlic that I planted last year. I've got both soft neck and hard neck garlic. I've got some, let's see, I've got some onions in there. I had planted some dill earlier and some cilantro because I forgot I had already had cilantro coming up over there. And then I had picked up some onion bunches because I forgot to get some onions. So that's what you guys get to see me plant. So let's go do that. All right. So I got my little uh, cool little toolbox here. And it's got... Ah, they're all going to go everywhere. All my little garden tools. And it's a nice balmy, I don't know, like 60 degrees or something out here. But I did a little hugu culture method on this garden bed last year. Um, if you don't know what that is, basically it's kind of a lasagna method and what you do. Yeah, I'm gonna get these pushed out here real quick. There we go. Basically, uh, I did uh, it where you go through and I started with lots of branches, um, some very small logs, and then I added things like uh, grass and hay, excuse me, not hay, straw, things like that. Um, and I did it in layers and cardboard, clean cardboard, not stuff with writing on it, things like that. And things that are going to break down naturally. And so I did things like that. And uh, so that way I don't have to use as much soil. And when I'm done, I'm going to show you the other garden beds I'm in the process of building. And I will be doing the exact same thing. Oh, I just realized I got pots from my planted. So I'm going to be doing that with the other um, garden beds. I've got, it's still pretty early here. We don't usually plant until after Mother's Day um, in our area, at least. And I'm checking at least our forecast, and I think 
that's what's going to happen. Um, that's in the next week. And so I should be doing that. So, um, and I'm going to be getting some um, really good uh, hay, right? No, straw. See, I keep getting that confused in my brain. But some straw and goat poop mix from our neighbor down the road here from him. And I'm going to be adding that along with coconut core soil into every one of my beds. So yes, this is red Zeppelin onions. So that's what I'm planting here. And hopefully I'm giving them enough room. I've never planted onions. If I did these wrong, please tell me as soon as possible so I can fix this the next week. If these are supposed to be separate, then I'm screwed. And I will find out. If they are, fine. Good. If these are supposed to each be separate, then um, we will um, really find out quickly from somebody. Because I have never once planted a regular onion, per se. I have done scallions, which I have just planted. Because, you know, it's pretty similar to garlic. So, I guess I'll find that out soon enough. Ugh, grass. I hate grass. Pain in the butt. That's what grass is. So, I just peeled back the netting I have around all my garlic. So, I need to re restring this because I have some things outside of this. I'm probably going to move this cilantro that I have here because I don't want it encroaching on my onions. So, but that's okay. I did last year put grass clippings all over this garlic and it did amazing. What is going on here? One of my onions just kind of went wonky. Oh well, we'll try it. We'll just throw it in the ground and see what happens. There we go. Good enough. All right. So, not going to be a very long video because, as I said, I screwed up. There we go. This looks stupid. But hey, nobody said I was a great gardener. I am a so-so gardener. But this is at least keep the horses out and the deer. So that's what I'm worried about. So I've got some lights solar lights in all my stuff to make it all pretty at night. Maybe I'll grab a shot showing you what I have. We'll find out. Get that cleaned up. And I'll uh, maybe get some netting around my mint. I don't know if horses eat mint. Does anybody know? Leave me a comment below. We'll find out soon enough, I would guess. But uh, yeah. Just trying to get a couple things taken care of gardening wise i will be bringing my tomatoes out and my peppers oh hold on let me raise you guys up with me i got tomatoes peppers cucumbers cantaloupe I'm trying to think what else i got bought they're all back at the house in town tomatoes peppers not doing any corn. That's just ugh. got blueberry bushes, got my elderberries to plant. Um, I got plums coming on. I got apples coming on. Um missed out on getting a few other plants this year. Like my hat, isn't it cute? Look, it's got a little ponytail hole. So, but uh I'm going to start harvesting all the dandelions we have here and in town. I might make some uh, dandelion... Blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. I'm going to start making some dandelion jelly. Um, I've been wanting to do that for quite some time. So, but uh, garlic's coming up really good here. Plus, I found... I don't know if you saw my video a couple years back. I actually planted garden 
uh, planted in my little fruit garden over there, garlic, a few years ago. And there was a few that I didn't get up. And lo and behold, this year, guess what came up? I got volunteer garlic. So I'm treating it like this garlic here. And I'm not going to harvest at least probably till July. Maybe August. I haven't decided. Last time I think I harvested a little bit too early. So I'll really watch the the scapes and, and you know, the tops on these and, and really pay attention better. I've got a couple that are actually starting to, to die back already, which is surprising because it's just the beginning of May. So, um, yeah, I'll be moving them into round that I do have in a couple places. And uh, I'll let you know. We'll come back maybe in the next video and I'll show you my my mint patch. And I got a couple people I'm going to be getting some mint from. And uh, we're going to be drying mint for mint tea all winter long. So, hope you guys have a good one. Sorry, it's a small video, but hey, it happens. Have a good one, guys. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. We've got a bunch of uh, videos coming where I'm going to be working on some more out our solo project solar uh, try the, oh, i can't talk solar projects i am going to be um upgrading that amazing solar fountain video i made years ago um there were a couple things i found out that uh, are going to work a little better that didn't work out great turns out heavy birds like to land on that solar fountain and there's some upgrades that can be made to it same thing with the fountain itself so Looks like I'm starting to get a little rain, so I'm going to go inside and maybe put on a warmer shirt because the temperature's dropping and uh, it's time to go inside. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Bye. Figured I'd do a little bonus scene. There's the star link. Walking out to the garden, you can see a little bit of the fun stuff I got in some of the garden beds. Got a few things there. A few little things inside a few of the beds. Well, at least the three beds that have stuff in it. But, yeah, we'll get a few more things in there. But, uh, yeah. It's always fun to see and eventually you can kind of see in the distance the other garden bed over there but there's lights that go all the way around that one you can kind of see some of the lights out in some of the trees around the property and then you can see here at the front of the house we are all off grid but that's what the front of the house looks like well, most of the stuff on the inside of the deck is all dimmed, but that's all solar lights right now for just outside. This flag is always lit up, and you can see the solar shed there in the back. Oops, looks like the motion light went away from before, but hope you guys like seeing some of the garden lit up at night but eventually when we get this fence up we'll have a light all the way around the top of the fence too that way nobody walks into it hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next week